Okay, folks, this is my uh, final uh, video of my remaining teas. I believe I have six left in this series. Um, so we will start with the Grandma Stella Rosea. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you that I think it's been close to a year since this tarantula has eaten. So if you ever worry about your G. Rosea not eating, don't fret over it because they are known for going through very long fasting periods. And this one is no exception. Uh, just make sure you give them water. But as you can see, the abdomen is still plump, despite not eating for nearly a year. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna offer her a worm and see if uh, she uh, decides to get out of her fasting. It would indeed be a miracle if I saw her eat again. <laughs> She's curious, but uh, too late. And she may dig it up, but uh, I'll give her another one just in case. Are you going to play with your food or are you going to eat it? Have you forgotten what it was like to eat a superworm? It's been so long, hasn't it? <laughs> She's like, what is that again? Hey, you lost them. You just now you're gonna have to dig them up. Not my fault. <laughs> well, oh look at her, isn't she cute? She's a sweetheart. I mean, she gets in her moods on occasion, but uh, most of the time she's perfectly fine if uh, I hold her. She was the very first tarantula in my collection. I started collecting in, uh, let's see, what year would that have been? Oh, let's see. Did she actually grab it? Oh. I think she did, but I don't know if she held on to it. She dug it up. And she dug it up, but she, uh, I don't think she has it. <laughs> I guess she just wants to play with her food. <laughs> well, I got you some water anyway. And you can have fun digging your worms out later then. Yeah, I, I, I um, got her, I think, in the summer of 2011. She was my first tarantula. Who knows when she'll molt. Uh, since, since she's not eating much, she's not uh, molting quickly either. But they're slow growers. Yeah, she's doing fine. I mean, look at her. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't spaz out if your G. Rosea doesn't eat for months. <laughs> Mine's been nearly a year, so. And she's alive and well. Just make sure they have water, and you're good. They'll eat when they're ready. All right. Well, we'll let her dig up her food and play with her food and all that and we'll move on to the next one all right here's my heteroscadra maculata a togo starburst baboon this one has also not been in a hurry to molt but i'm gonna go see if this one's hungry this one is very lightning quick as you can imagine
I keep wondering when this one's going to molt. Definitely not in a hurry to molt. I really hope it's a female because the female H Max are just absolutely stunning with their ivory white color with the black speckles. Males look kind of blah, but they're pretty in their own way. Well, doesn't appear to be interested in eating right now, so I'll just leave it alone and check on it later. All right. Here's another tarantula that I believe is in pre-malt and the abdomen is already quite swollen. So I will forego offering this one food, but uh, this is my Paraphysa parvula, the Chilean gold, and uh, doing great. So I just added some moisture to the enclosure and I'll add a little bit more and leave it alone and check on it later and see how it's doing. It's been in pre molt for the longest time. But awesome tea to own. Alright, next. This is one we don't see too clearly very often, but uh, where'd it go? There it is. This is my Phonopama calcotes, the desert blonde. Doing awesome. So I'm just going to drop a little cricket in there and check on it later. This one's not one to attack food on camera. It just takes it when it feels like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, stay tuned. Let's see. I think I have two left. Here's my Lassiodora Pear Habana Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Are you going to eat for me? Or are you going to disappoint me like the others are? This one hasn't been eating much lately. You going to eat finally? Oh, finally got a feed. It's about time. <laughs> I'm surprised you hadn't been eating. Surprise, surprise. Good for you. Some people say their LPs grow pretty quick, but hasn't really been the experience with mine. But uh, being about a two incher, it's uh, starting to look like an LP. I don't know, it's close to two and a half, isn't it? Hadn't measured it. Don't know the gender yet. Hopefully with this next malt, I can get a good malt and find out. This one is a crazy hair flicker. Definitely uh, one of the most uh, hair flickers in my collection. Uh, my Bebomi, my Acanthoscurias, and, and this uh, Lassiodora definitely flick hairs the most. and might be smithy too. <laughs> well good. I'm glad you enjoy that. Okay folks. I think I have one tarantula left so stay tuned uh, to uh, seeing Large Marge, my Theraphosa Sturmy and hopefully she'll eat. Alright, next. Here's my pride and joy, Theraphosa Sturmy, Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater, the largest tea in my collection. Uh, she's taken, been taking a drink, and of course she's in my way. I wanted to uh, clean her water dish. So let's see if I can entice her to get out of the way by offering her food. this big would move that fast but oh yes they do they do they're very quick when they want to be <laughs> all 
All right, are you out of my way? You gonna let me clean this? Yes, notice I did not pick that up with my hands. <laughs> I don't want her to latch on to my fingers. That would hurt just from the sheer size of her fangs. Yeah, she's venomous too, but I'd worry more with her about the size of her fangs and the venom. There. Yeah, that wasn't hard, was it? Well, you want another one? Well, she could. Well, since I've been kind of neglecting you all lately, I'll give you a, maybe a little smaller bonus. Yeah, I'm, you're not complaining, I see, so. <laughs> yeah, she's not complaining. Yeah, she's definitely my pride and joy. She's one of my favorites. This size tarantula and larger would be someone's worst nightmare right here. <laughs> She's awesome. Okay, so you guys know that my male haplopomalividum passed away. Um, the other two T's that uh, passed away while, during my absence was the Lasiodora difficilis. That one was very, very tiny. It was the smallest tea in my collection. And then my, um, one I'm very upset about is my Pocletheria fasciata. Uh, that one is very likely my fault. Uh, probably died of dehydration. So that made me very unhappy. So those are the only deaths I have to report. Uh, the H. lividum was a mature male, so you never know. Um, but uh, likely no excuses with the LD and the pokey. But uh, like I said, I'm giving my give myself another chance, and if I say I just can't take care of all these teas anymore because of being distracted with pregnancy and all that sort of jazz, uh, I'm gonna give a lot of my teas away and just keep maybe a handful of them. Hopefully it won't come to that, but uh, if it does, then I will definitely pass them on to people I know that would have the time and the ability to care for them. Sorry folks, this is one I'd keep. <laughs> this is one of my favorites, so she's mine. <laughs> I would also keep my G. Rosea because she was my very first tea, so she's sentimental. But I'd, I'd have to think about the others. But like I said, hopefully it won't come to that. I can just watch her all day, can you? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. You're cute. Yes, you are. You're beautiful. So glad I got a female. For those of you who are new to my channel, she's never flicked hairs on me, and thankfully, because they have some of the worst hairs. Um, she She's given me a lazy threat posture one time when I had to do a little maintenance in her cage. I had to scoot her out of the way, and she didn't care for that, but uh, it was just a little lazy threat posture. It wasn't anything that's scary. But I try not to give her a reason to get mad at me. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty laid back though. She just wants to eat. Isn't that right? All right, girly, we'll let you eat in peace. Maybe take a few pictures of you and Thank you guys for watching my uh, series of videos. Uh, this may be the way I can do it from now on is to break them up into smaller parts. At least while I'm pregnant anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay guys, 
I will talk with you later. Bye.